I would love to go to space. That would be great. Actually, going to the moon might even be better. Okay, first teacher on the moon, first female to walk on the moon, that would be something. I was always very, very inquisitive. I was that odd child who instead of asking for a bicycle would ask for a microscope. I was always the nature girl, you know, running around and collecting bugs. And that is what drove me to study biology and at Clemson as an undergrad. But not being able to get a job in that field without an advanced degree led me in the direction of environmental chemistry. So working for 12 years as a professional in, in that field really got me interested in instrumentation and data analysis. I'm much more of a people person, and I ended up spending a lot of time behind an instrument pumping out data instead of being able to interact with people. So I felt compelled to get into the classroom, and my mother said that she thought that's where I was supposed to be all the time. Well, I think physics and engineering both are a great opportunity to show kids how relevant what it is that they're asked to learn to the real world. And so I take every opportunity I can to infuse real world applications into the classroom. Well, first of all, the hook is maybe gross them out, maybe put them in that environment. So by shrink wrapping the kids, now they have a feel for what atmospheric pressure is like. Yeah. They take it for granted, but when you go to space, you got to take that under consideration of what that might do to the human body. So infusing the science and the math that goes behind it with that pressure volume relationship, I think it makes them remember it. It makes it much more memorable. I strive to make them love to learn, to remain inquisitive, to keep questioning, to try to find out the answer that's underlying things that they see in phenomenon. I want them to be educated enough so that they won't take some piece of news for granted. They understand some science behind it or how somebody might twist some analysis. I want them to feel empowered to be able to do things that they didn't think that they were able to do. So just a lot of encouragement and making them believe in themselves. It does take hard work and with that hard work comes great rewards. Thank you.